Hello and thank you for joining this Butterfly Warrior Reads another unboxing. Today I'm going to show you the Lit Toy Crate of September. And it's a special one because this is for me the first Lit Toy Crate uh, that I received as well. So I joined the waiting list in May 2020. 2020 um, and then I got a, an email in June saying that I could join uh, Lit Toy Crates and the, the the Luna Corns, which is also a fun thing, um, starting September 2020. So here we are. I received my first box. My first impressions were, I received it this week, so my first impressions were cool. It's blue because it's a different color than from the other boxes. Um, it is has the handle for Instagram. It does show you the lunacorns image, you know. And then, of course, with all of the things that could be inside and what it relates to, it has the hashtag. And on the other side, it's actually exactly the same. Um, I can show you for sure. <laughs> um, as you can see, mine is banged up good. So I'm really curious to see if everything is still um, in one piece inside. So I'll be unboxing on the side as I've done before. It's how this setup works best for me, but do let me know if you'd like to see me really take the things out of the box, which is also fine. Um, and I'll just need to rethink this. If, uh, if this is working well for you, also let me know. And uh, if there's anything else that I can do to improve, let me know. If you like the video, if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, you can give me a like, you can give me a comment. And then, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to really build a community here with you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna open it. Okay, so when you open it, um, typically what you'll see is the spoiler card on top and then already some of the goodies what I do like is inside there's also nice design for the box so it's not just standard cardboard um looking at this first card so it says favorite fictional families um it's a bit gloomy I'm not sure if that was the intention but it gives me like an eerie feeling oh <laughs> especially when you see the back so I guess it was kind of the intention. I'm gonna put this aside so we could, uh, yeah, dive deep uh, with wide eyes open in. There's one thing I already know, and it's because there was a bit of a, um, uh, I don't know, turmoil notices from other people and that already received this box because this is a box coming from the US. I am living in Belgium, so I'm at the, uh, at the end tail of receiving these. So I did know that for this item, which I'm now gonna show you, um, there's a spelling error. So I'm gonna take it out of the box and I can already talk to it because I do know what it is. It's supposed to be a tote bag um, and it's from Little Woman from uh, Louisa May Alcott. So you can see here, there's a small E hiccup. On the other hand, it's um, it's not a big book box. It's not a big tote bag, so it's an in-betweener. I actually like the format because you can take it with you with some books in it. It says um, when somebody has borrowed um, books and it says Joe, Meg, Amy and Beth March. So yeah. I do like the bag, unfortunately, about the spelling error, but on the other hand, who hasn't made a mistake, right? <laughs> okay, the next thing is um, a double wrap goodie. So all of the boxes as well have stamped Lit Choy Crate. This is a bit dented. So let's see if everything inside is okay. Ooh, it's a... Uh, a really tiny teacup. Um, I'll show it to you. So you'll see here, there are three designs on it. If you can see it, yeah. Um, it features some centaur 
a wardrobe where you can go in so and for oh i can't remember which which book it's about it's really famous it has been narnia oh, i just uh, popped into mind i think this is narnia okay so it's a cute little one sip teacup um this is similarly wrapped so double wrapped Ah, okay so this is actually the saucer um, that goes with it it features the lion and it says once a king or queen of Narnia always a king or queen of Narnia it has silver foiling on the sides as you can see so then you put it like this it's really really cute you can see me sipping from this pinky up <laughs> all right so what else do we have um i'm guessing this is <laughs> something that belongs with something else so <laughs> let's see what we'll find next um oh these are two things so once i'll take this thing um also double wrapped gonna have a lot of plastic after this one um, it seems like it's a photo stand or something. You'll see here some characters. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic so you can see it better. Less reflection. Um, not sure which family this is, so everything is around fictional families. Um, as I mentioned in the one earlier book box, I'm not as familiar. Um, with these type of character cards, it's always difficult for me to find out who it's talking about. So, yeah, and I think the thing that we need to do here is we'll use these buttons to connect the two together. As you can see, there are four holes, four buttons, and then one of those um, longer stands will be uh, drilled into these buttons and then you'll be able to put it upright. So this is nice if you like this family and otherwise you can use it to put in a picture of your beloved cats or something. Mine would be cats for sure. And the other thing is also very cute. Um, so far I've noticed that this box is more about cute little things. So everything is in a tiny version and this is, um, I really don't know how you call it in English. Um, you'll put here the saucer and the cup on like this and then you'll go and travel to your um, chair or your couch and then you can enjoy your drink on this table uh, it's the family tree of bilbo baggings i don't think i need to tell you which books movies etc this is from so i'll show it a bit closer um and then we're already at the pin it seems the pin and the book oh wait there's more in the box so i'll leave the pin and the book for later and i'll start with um it's cards so probably it's uh doesn't have numbering on it i see elves and sirens oh actually these are real cards, so I thought it was might might be some tarot cards, but they have all the same back backing, and then in front you'll have number seven, so seven of hearts. You'll have six six of hearts. Um, they have a, a very soft feeling. It's like they have a bit of a velvety sheen over them. The black is really dark. It's I really like the design of these, although I don't like character cards. These are so stunningly made. This is the back. So yeah, I'll need to spoiler card to tell me which where this is from. Um, they're really stunning. Yeah, putting them back in the little plastic. I don't know why I did that. Um, and then we have this. And just by flipping it over, I see what it is. It's actually card mixes. 
author letter. So I'm not going to show it too much um, to keep the surprise for people who want to read it there by themselves. But it's a, it's a nice picture. It's going to depict, of course, a scene or a character from the, mo from the movie, from the book. And the book is always in this neat little blue bag. So I like it. They've continued with the color team. Is The Left-Handed Booksellers of London by Garth Nix. Um, I love the cover. It's very stunning. Um, it's like this. Then you'll open one, the first page. You'll see the signature on the first page. And actually, the back of the signature is the same picture as I just shown you before. So there's some extra art in here. If you'll then, then go to the next. So yeah, looks great. Just showing you a few pages. Um, I just noticed something <laughs> and that's, you can reverse the cover, I think. So what they call is a reversible cover. So first, this is the book without um, any cover. So with nice foliage. And then you'll have this normal cover, which is blue and orange. And then if you open it, you'll see exactly the same as what was on the spoiler card. I think I actually like this one more. Um, but it really gonna depend on what you read in the book, right? Um, this one seems a bit younger. And then the other one, the, it seems for me a more adult version. version. So yeah, I'm trying, going to really slowly put this away. And then I'm going to show you the pin. So the pin says something about Cullen. So here you go. Um, I'm not sure if the pins with Lichoy are actually matching the book. To me, to be honest, if I see Colin, I all immediately think about another big book um, where there's the Colins and the Bellas of the world, you know, without saying too much, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, let's see, where is that spoiler card? Um... So it has a few pages, so I'm trying to raffle to it. So it tells you a bit about the book. It gives you a picture of card. Um, okay, I was right. So it's a Twilight Cullen Crest Enamel Pin. Okay, I love it. Um, I love the books. I was very young when I first read them. I was actually studying um, in Madrid on an Erasmus experience when the last book came out. So I have that one in Spanish because I thought, oh, for sure, you know, I've read all the other books. I can try to read this in Spanish. I've been here now for a while. I can speak it fluently. Yeah. So skip two days forward and I bought the book in English. Um... The other one is the Blackthorn Family Portrait. So that's the one where I showed you where you could make actually a portrait holder. And it's Shadow Hunters. I was thinking it because of the... Um, where is it? I cleaned it up too well. Did you know where I put it? Anyways, um, because of the tattoos that were on these people. So yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, it's trading cards. So these ones are trading cards for September from Akotar, which is a court of thorns and ruin. Roses? Cards of thorns and roses. <laughs> you see, new here. Um, okay. So I think this is collectible. Probably I'm very late to the game. So we won't get everything. We have the Narnia mini teacup. Um, the Baggins of Hobbiton family tree tray. So I did mention this one. Um, cool. Okay, so that's it. The next theme is gonna be Ancient Alchemy. So looking forward to that one. That's about it for this time. Um, I'm really happy with everything. Um, yeah. That's it for now. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. I hope that, that you like me searching for things and not finding them. 
as I mentioned before, don't forget to subscribe or like or leave me a comment if you see there's room for improvement or you just want to say, hey, hello, how are you doing and what colors do you have in your hair? <laughs> have a nice day. Bye.